Hey guys, what's up? I'm your host Raj and welcome to my channel 100 Days to ML. In this session, we are going to look into the regression models and work on linear model for linear regression from sklearn package okay guys so let's begin with regression models what is regression a relationship between dependent variable and multiple independent variables in statistics is known as regression here dependent variable is the target variable and independent variables are the known variables there are basically two types of regression one linear regression where the y value is continuous and two logistic regression where we can classify them in different classes if the number of classes is two we call it a binary classification else it is a multi-class classification in this video i am going to use used car sales data set to train our model on linear regression so let me quickly import few data sets that are required i would be importing pandas to create a data frame i would be creating numpy to check the mean median and variance I would be importing matplotlib and seaborn to visualize our variables. From sklearn, I would be importing the linear regression model. Now, I am going to create a data frame used car df and I would be reading the csv file used car sales.csv. Let me quickly check the top five rows of the, the data frame here i am going to create a function to create a correlation visualization plot let me quickly run this command to create the correlation plot correlation or relationship between the independent and dependent variables can be determined here Let's see what are the most influencing values for the price. Here, price is our target variable or the dependent variable. In statistics, if the probability value is greater than 0.5, we call it a null status and we can ignore that there is a significant relationship. If the value is below 0 0.5 then we say that there is a relationship between the dependent and independent variable so from this function we come to know that kilometer gearbox feature name length brand name feature month of registration fuel type feature model feature vehicle type feature not repaired or damaged feature are the most important or the significant one that influence the value of price as mentioned earlier price is the target variable so i'm creating a variable y to store the price from data frame let us check the statistics of the y variable that is mean median maximum minimum and variance here we can see that mean is 8.10 whereas median is 8.16 which is not too far so we can see there is no skewness in our data the maximum value of y is 11.9 and the minimum value is 4.6 and the variance is 1.4 which is really good 
and other than price all the variables in the data frame are the independent variables so i'm creating a variable x that stores all the variable values or column rows from used car data frame other than price let me quickly check the first five rows of x and y i am going to separate the values into two separate variables train and validation so that i can check the accuracy of our model so here i am going to create a variable train x train and y train with about 75 percent of our data and x validation y validation will store about 25 percent of the data and the random state would be three which means it can select among any three random columns to be stored in any of the values any of the variables let me quickly call the linear regression function and fit it on our train variables now let us check the accuracy of the model on validation set so our model was able to predict the values with an accuracy of 58 percent hope you guys like this video we would be continuing again tomorrow till then have a good day and do not forget to subscribe my channel and like the video and share it with your friends